so we are here at the Penn Relays and we are joined by an amazing fan, longtime fan. Tell me how long you've been coming to the Relays. Uh, since uh, high school days, back in the uh, mid 70s. Coming to the Penn Relays since the 70s. 20 plus years. 1978, I've been coming ever since. My first time is probably about eight years ago. It's like in uh, 41 years ago, like 1980. I think my first um, visit was in. Uh, 1991. You being here, what is that like, you know, experiencing all the fans and all the athletes? Oh man, the Jamaicans have just flocked over to our booth because they're so happy to just get some feel of back home. It's, it's a festive, it's like a family atmosphere here. So we love the Penn Relay. The energy and the excitement of the races. Instead of being around your own people sometimes, it's a beautiful thing. Right? Especially your Jamaican people, so it's, all, it's always fun. There's always a positive energy. Just being around all the all the athletes and just see the, the small ones up to the you know the older folks, the, the masters and everything. Just a good feeling, you know, to get to see everybody out there, you know, participating. You can't, it's, it's an experience and it's always an experience and it continues to be an experience. Feel it like, uh, 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 like uh, I even uh, 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 try to convince some people like they don't run no more, but they may be running tomorrow. <laughs> it's that that energy, like oh, I'm starting back up. It's nice to see the black, green, and gold. It's it's, it's about pride. It's it's a good feeling. You can smell your food. You can hear the patois. Yeah. You know, you see your people, and you run into friends you haven't seen for years. It's just a good feeling. Lots of vibes. Lots of good energy. And lots of reggae music. Each year, um, people from the Jamaican diaspora look forward to this event. Bus rides, um, carpools, people taking train coming in. So I think even more than the folks living in Philadelphia, it's excitement for folks living outside of the state. Yeah. The children who are here, they're young, they're teenagers, right? And Coming to the Penn Relays allows them, gives them access to scholarships where they can attend universities here. It's, it's like a rite of passage for the kids leaving high school, looking for a, a place in, in the collegiate ranks. Calabar was the first Jamaican school here. Now we have half the island, which is wonderful because they get chances to uh, come here and go to school, get a great education. Uh, it's also exposure for our students. So I think it's, it, it, will, it will get bigger, we hope. Um, I know that Jamaican schools and colleges will continue to support as long as there's a pen Do you have a favorite experience um, from your years that you've been coming to the relays? <laughs> uh, all right, so... My favorite experience is... Wow. My favorite experience of... Uh, oh, man, it's, oh, that's tough. Uh, when Usain Bolt, he was a teenager. When Usain Bolt was here running? I was here and I lost my mind that <laughs> yeah. Then Shelly Ann Fraser, oh man, you can't. It's, it's an experience and it's always an experience and it continues to be an experience. But I used to enjoy more than not the Jamaican teams at the, se at the senior now. level going up against the rest of the world, so to speak. For whatever the reason, that's always a, a showpiece of the showpiece. Yeah. yeah. That uh, big race between Jamaica, USA versus the world. Over the years, Jamaica versus the world, I've always been in you know, the moment. I think moment. that's what we all come. Yes. Really, yes. that's what we all come. It's exciting on the track. The great experiences is like uh, just uh, going toe to toe with people uh, that are. Uh, uh, that you know the, 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 the hard work in, and no matter how um, you turn out, you know you, you gave your you gave your all. Uh, just my favorite races personally is the, the Masters race, you know, the 80, 90 year old, just to see them out there on the track doing things, you know, uh, moving around and, and still being active. Uh, we were fortunate enough back in the early 70s to run uh, 131 indoors for the four by, the 880 relay, the four by two. Uh, which was a New Jersey state record at the time, and we lost that night to DeWitt Clinton, who set the national record, 129.9, first team under 130 indoors, Jadwin Jim Princeton, 1974. It's the excitement of um, the Jamaican high schools, or any, any team from Jamaica, getting in a race, um, leading in a race, and the excitement from the Jamaican people, they're like jumping all over. 
But it's the whole aspect of just watching these young people perform here, which I, I mentioned earlier, it took us to Jamaica, to Boys Champs, to watch the first leg of it, coming back here, and then just following their career to see you know, where they go. It's like, um, you just, just see and feel the love of everybody. Just just cheering everybody from the, the fastest running to the, the slowest running to the person who tripped and it's, it's just great. It's nice. all love.